International students make an invaluable contribution to our economy. According to the Higher Education Policy Institute, last year um, they provided nearly £43 billion to the UK economy. In my constituency of Glasgow North West alone, the economic benefit was over £83 million. So, first of all, I'd like to ask the Minister what assessments have been carried out on the economic impact of this change on the university sector yep. and, indeed, in university towns? International students enrich our society and they have skills which are proving ever more vital in this post-Brexit climate, which has seen the UK deprived of workers across key sectors. So, with current labour shortages in healthcare, STEM, IT, to name but a few. How can the Minister fail to recognise that this policy will simply exacerbate these? Yeah. The reality is that many students coming to the UK look beyond their studies and want their families to be part of that experience. Without a way for overseas students to bring their families, many will opt to go elsewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And any drop in international student numbers will cause further harm to universities that are already facing financial difficulties. This policy makes the Home Secretary's agenda crystal clear. She is launching an attack on migrants regardless of the benefits they bring to the UK. And in pursuing this short-sighted reactionary programme, international students are being caught in the crossfire. In Scotland, international students' contribution to university campuses and to our wider society is celebrated. But Scotland will suffer the consequences of this misjudged policy. Once again, it is indicative of how out of tune this Conservative government is with the Scottish people. So if this government is insistent in pursuing their hostile